Ron Klein is preparing for a social event at the village retirement community. Ron manages a staff that feeds over 500 residents every day. That just indicates you had an irregular heart rate. Thanks to a visit to the doctor's office, Ron found out he suffers from a silent and potentially dangerous condition that if left untreated could keep him from feeding the residents. Uh, I learned I had high blood pressure about four years ago. I went to the doctor for something else and they took my blood pressure and it was 232 over 121, I remember. Now Ron is enrolled in a University of Florida study that will help researchers better understand how genetics play an important factor when physicians prescribe high blood pressure medications. One of our goals with um, trying to find the genetic markers is that we might be able to use that information to find the really the best medication for a person from the beginning. Dr. Julie Johnson received a $10.62 million grant from the National Institutes of Health to lead a multi-center study. Researchers want to know why some high blood pressure medications work well in some people and why some don't work well at all. We think that that would increase the number of people who actually take high blood pressure medicine because they would, um, the right drug would be found for them more quickly. Ron knows by keeping his blood pressure in check, he can keep up with the paperwork and send out the bills. I feel uh, confident that, that I have this problem under control. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Billowich.